Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot ass minute since I've been like sitting here talking to you guys and having an intro like that. <laughs> but today we're going to be doing this everyday makeup right here. I got a lot of requests on my everyday makeup. I do also have um, a 15 minute makeup on my channel, but now I'm currently not using foundation, just concealer. So I know it looks like I am, but my skin is finally cooperating. So I decided to switch over to the concealer life. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys all my little tips and tricks that I use every day for my makeup and what I'm using and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's just get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your notification bell on so you know whenever I post. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys later. Let's roll old me, not future me. You feel me? Me before makeup. You get it, you get it. What's up guys? It's been so long since I did a makeup tutorial. I kind of just wanted to show you the new things I guess I'm using or like I'm using it a different way because I'm not using any foundation. Um, this is actually my skin. I'm like really proud of it right now. Just in case you wanna, I don't know, wear makeup to like a beach bar or a backyard barbecue or something like that. So yeah, let's get started. So I have nothing on. I actually wanted to talk about this lip balm that I've been loving. So this is by Skin Organics. I actually use their, I actually use their um, castor oil for my hair. And this is in, oh my God, do I even know how to do makeup tutorials anymore? <laughs> and this is in the flavor, I guess, um, Eucalyptus Mint. Dude, this is so nice. And it's not vegan because it has beeswax in it. So that's that but it does help my lips because my lips were looking hella crusty and this has saved it so I'm gonna keep on using that one but you guys already know I start off with my brows and honestly like I'm not even gonna use that many products like you guys are gonna be like amazed at how many products that I use in this video it's literally like probably 10 I think so we're gonna start with our brows first so i'm still using my urban decay brow blade and i also have the urban decay brow endowed and this is in the color brunette betty so for this product um i've talked about it before on my channel it has a uh, ink stain which is kind of like the rave right now it's a marker and then they have a pencil on the other side and then this one oh my god i put this on to so many people because it's a gel so look how small the brush is. It's so freaking tiny. So you do the primer first and then you do the colored side. So I'm gonna do that right now. I usually do this first and then whatever I can't grab with this, I use the brow blade. I'm gonna have to get a mirror up in here, a small one. So I'm just going to take the primer side of the brow endowed and just, oh, uh, I might have to put my hair up. Can I get it together? Clearly I can't, oh my God. I'm about to have the snooky poof because I just did my hair and I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> so anyway, back to the primer. So I'm just going to coat all of my brow and my brows have been growing so much from that Skin Organics castor oil. You guys definitely have to try that, especially my lashes too. So I usually do primer on both sides. And while one side is drying, we're gonna go in with the colored side. And this is in the same color, the Brunette Betty. I don't really use the darker shade I was using before or the red shade that I was using before. It just looks a little more natural this way. And then I just flick up. I like that flick up brow look. I think it looks so natural. So that's what we're gonna do. And dude, look, that's it. And this is waterproof and it doesn't move at all like the gel. It's not hard either, which I really like. But look, that's a snatch brow girl. So now we're gonna go in with the brow blade, which is that marker pencil situation. So I'm gonna just use the marker side and I like to take it um, right on the side of my nose and line it up. So this is where your brow is really supposed to start. So then I just fill that in, flick up like I did with the gel. And then sometimes I'll go through. I actually haven't got my brows done in like almost a year now. So I'm trying to grow them out. And it's been working. And you wanna do light flicks. Move your wrist, not your arm. Cause then it's gonna look too intense, you know? This side usually needs a little more love. All right, so that is it. And the last thing that I do for my brows is just brush them out so they look a little more airbrushed. 
So I just take the spoolie and I kind of married the two, the brow blade and the browned out. Boom, done. That's my brows. That's it. Remember I used to do concealer and all that? No, we don't have time for all that, especially in the summer. We're trying to be quick, you know? So now let's do some eyeshadow and I'm going to try to link down below. Um, maybe I'll just use my highlighter because I like to use this eyeshadow right here. I've shared it on my channel before, um, but it is discontinued and I don't want to use something that's discontinued for you guys. So I'm just going to use my highlighter instead since that's not discontinued. It's like a really pretty bronze. So this is Becca Topaz. It's so pretty. I love this, especially when the sun hits, especially my chocolate girls. Oh, it just hits different. Okay. But Becca has like a really good range of um, highlighters. So definitely check them out if you're looking for like a good, really pigmented highlighter. I would just use it very lightly. And like I said, you can use it on your eyes or your face. So of course we have to prime our eyes. I'm still using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in caffeine. And we're just gonna put this all over the lid. And I love this because it's my skin tone. So even if you don't want, want to wear eyeshadow, you could just do this to cover up any discoloration or veins you have in your eyes. And it lasts like for a really long time. I've been using this for a while. And I'm just gonna blend with my finger. Please excuse my disgusting chipped gel polish. I need to, I'm actually gonna make an appointment to take them off so I don't um, mess my nails up. Okay, Benji is coming. You see him? <laughs> so you guys have to check out my new kitten video if you haven't, but that's Benji right there. He is about like almost 12 weeks now. He's so long too. But he loves when I make the bed so I can like so he can um, lay down and stuff. So that's what he's probably gonna do right now. But anyway, let's not get distracted. So now we're going to take a huge fluffy eyeshadow brush right here. And I'm gonna dip it right into that topaz, tap the excess, and then lightly dust it on. And we're doing this all over. We don't need a crease color. We don't need anything. We're just gonna use this as our all over lid shade. Boom, done. See, the other one just has a lot more sparkle to it, but this one gives you a nice, like, bronze goddess glow. It's really pretty, actually. And that's it for the eyes, for eyeshadow, anyway. And if you want, you can add a little sparkle. Like, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll go crazy and add a little sparkle, shall we? Let's see what that's about. Let's see what's in here, actually. And if you haven't checked out my Organizing My Vanity video, please do, because... I throw out like three bags of makeup. It's like crazy. Actually, I donated two of them and threw out one of them. So I'm going to take this eyeshadow. This is called Midnight Blast by Urban. This is very similar to that other shade that I showed you, but the Becca one that's discontinued. So I'm just going to use my finger and put this on. Oh, yeah. Just gives you a nice pop. A little something, you know? Because we want to shine at this barbecue that we're apparently going to. <laughs> and I love these shadows because they have a really nice um, speckle to it. It's like not too much glitter, you know what I mean? You know you have those eyeshadows that like, you're like, damn, that's way too much glitter. <laughs> okay, she cute. Oh yeah, I really like this. Huh, maybe I'll put that next to the Urban, um, the Becca one. All right, so now, ew, dude, really? Really? You're gonna lick your bum in front of our guests here? That's nasty. And he continues to do it. Very sorry about that. So now we're gonna be using some eyeshadow, um, sorry, some lash primer. This is Subversion by Urban. And this is a really nice primer. I really like it because it actually, because it actually does um, prime your lashes really nicely and condition them. So I actually taught Travis's mom a trick Hi, Debbie, if you're watching this. <laughs> I told her, I, I tell you guys too, to blink into your mascara. This is just primer, so it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it does, but it doesn't, if that makes sense. <laughs> but for mascara, if you don't use a primer, definitely blink and wiggle because you'll get the extra length and volume that you want. Okay, cool. So while that dries, I usually move on to my face. And I do, even though I don't put... Um, 
foundation all over i do put primer all over and it depends like my primers usually switch um i'll show you the two that i like so i either if i'm not going to be out all day and i'm just like going to be out for i don't know like a couple hours or something i'll use the milk hydro grip right here but if i'm going to be out all day and all night i'll use the all nighter face primer so i'm actually going to be using the milk one because we're not doing too much today and it's very hydrating too so i like that and if you are an og um subscriber for my makeup side <laughs> i talk about this concealer so much and their foundation is bomb so this is the urban decay stay naked correcting concealer i also used to work for urban decay back in the day so i have a lot of urban decay products it's not sponsored or anything so i just really like the products so now i'm just going to take this concealer and put it on my acne scars which are going away so excited i'll definitely link my skincare video down below too so you guys can check that out and i like this because it's not heavy especially now in the summer because you don't want like too heavy of a foundation and you can use a beauty blender if you want to um, i'm actually just going to use this little elf uh, foundation brush right here and just tap it into my skin because this leaves it nice and airbrushed and then i put the leftover on my nose and i like to pounce um the brush like i do a beauty blender and i just make sure i get everywhere even though i didn't put foundation there just to make sure it blends especially my forehead because that looks kind of shiny sometimes okay cute love it all right so this is one step that i've been trying to work with because I usually do my whole entire face and then I do the mascara, but I don't want it to dry too much. So now we're gonna go in with the mascara. I'm actually using one that's not cruelty free, so I'm not gonna use it on here. I'm actually gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion. Um, if you do, I mean, if you're interested, it, this one is the Giorgio Armani one. I've talked about this so much and I love how it goes on. Um, I think I do have one more left, but I'm not purchasing like I said in my um, vanity decluttering video, I'm not purchasing things that aren't cruelty free, but I'm not just gonna throw it away because of that region, you know what I mean? Because I already bought it. So I use that sometimes, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using the Perversion, which is uh, also a really good mascara. And this is where I say blink into the mascara and wiggle. You will 100% see a difference. Yeah, see, if you wait too long sometimes with a primer, it leaves your lashes, like, clumpy, which is not cute. So I'm going to have to comb that out, but it's okay. So, you could take a spoolie, but I'm going to take this little comb here. And see, it already has, like, some mascara on it. I'm going to take this little comb and just comb through the mascara. So it spreads it out a little bit more. Like I said, you can use a spoolie too, but I really like this comb. See, look, now it's not as clumpy. And I just kind of blink into it like I did with the mascara. There we go. So I'll let that dry and I'll see if I want to add another coat. But now let's move back onto the face. I'm going to be using this OG <laughs> concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And we're just going to do a little... This might be a lot to some people. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little under the eye. And then I'm gonna take this little fluffy brush right here. Of course, the battery is dying. And then pounce it like I did with the bigger brush. And these concealers are like five bucks. Definitely try them out. They're so inexpensive and they're really good. And they're light too, so we're all about lightness. Not light in color, but light in feel <laughs> for the summer, you know? Okay, she awake now. Yes. I just look like, I don't know, I look like myself. Like, what makeup? I don't have makeup on. <laughs> now we have to set um, both our face and our under eyes. So I'm gonna do my under eyes first, and I've showed you guys this trick before. So I'm gonna take the brush that we used for the concealer, and I'm gonna look all the way up, and still, I'm gonna actually, Hold on. I'm gonna prep the brush first with um, the powder, and this powder is by Urban Decay. It's really nice. It's called the Ultimate Brush Off, and it comes with a brush, but I never really use it because it's a little too big. So 
I'm gonna take the brush we use for concealer, tap, 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 stay looking up, take the brush with the powder and just tap it on there too. This way you don't set the creases that you might have under there. And we don't need a lot of powder, you know? And then for the face, I love this. This is the All Nighter Powder by Urban. So mom, I know it looks light, but the color doesn't come up at all. So we're gonna take um, another big fluffy brush and tap, tap. I'm just gonna lightly dust it. So this makes your foundation waterproof, especially if you're gonna be out at a barbecue or by a pool or something. It's gonna help your makeup stay on. And listen, I had people when I used to sell this, when I used to work for Urban, I'm very honest when I'm a salesperson, like if I don't like it and I don't talk about it, I'm not gonna sell it to you. I sold so many of these things and a customer told me, she was actually a makeup artist and she's like, I put this on a bride and I didn't even have to touch her makeup on, um, touch her makeup up when she was there. So yeah, I always recommend these to brides because it's, it's so nice, especially if you sweat a lot or it's gonna rain or something, definitely try that out. So now we're gonna move on to bronzer, which is my favorite part. So this bronzer is by Becca, it's called Ipanema Sun. It's so, so nice, I love this bronzer so much. It's nice and buttery too. So we're just gonna take um, this angled brush, kind of similar to the one we use for the face, but this one's just angled. And we're gonna contour our cheek bones. So, like right here. Right by this little thing by your ear. I don't know what it's called. But you wanna just line it up right there. And you don't wanna go too crazy. Cause you want it to still look natural. So I just do my jaw, my forehead, and my cheeks. And even though I didn't put any concealer up here, I do like to add some bronzer so it's like uniform, you know? And then one trick that I like to do is I take my leftover powder on my concealer brush, go right under my contour, and then blend out my contour on my jaw and my forehead. And then I'll take that um, foundation brush that we use for the powder and just go under here, cause I'm not a fan of lines under here. It just doesn't look cute to me. So I just make sure it's really blended. And I didn't forget the nose. Every video that I made, I always forgot to contour my nose. So we're gonna do that right now with the same brush, just smaller, it's nice and angled. And just lightly contour our nose, just so, like I said, it looks uniform. Cute. All right, so we're literally almost done. I just have to do blush highlight and under my eyes. Let's talk about blushes. So this blush is not cruelty free. It's honestly the only blush I have since I threw most of them away. Um, I haven't really found a blush that I like too much. Honestly, I haven't been shopping for blushes um, because I already have two others that I haven't used yet. So um, this is Peaches by MAC. So I'm gonna be using that. Sorry, it's not cruelty free, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna take this Becca angled brush right here, dip it into the blush and just put it on my cheeks. And I love it because it's not too light. It's like just enough. And then again, I'm a blending queen. I blend everything. So we're gonna take that. This is a Real Techniques brush and we're just gonna blend the blush in with the bronzer. All right, next up, my other favorite part is highlight. We're gonna be using the same one that we used on our eyes. This is the Topaz by Becca. And we're just gonna lightly put it on. And this brush is by Morphe. It's the M510. It's a nice fluffy brush. Clearly, I love it because I used it so much. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Hopefully the camera picks it up. And then down the nose a little bit above the brow, pubic bow, and then just for the sake of my top, I'm gonna be putting it on my collarbone. I love doing this, because it just gives you a really nice glow. And it's like not too much either. It's like a natural glow, you know? Oh, look at Benji sleeping, he's so cute. So this is the last time we're gonna be using the Real Techniques brush, and then we're just going to blend in circular motions, make sure there's no harsh lines, because that's not cute. Yes. Especially on the nose, since we don't have any foundation there. 
So the second to last step is gonna be underneath our eyes. Sometimes I'll put mascara under there, but I always usually put eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take that Topaz again, the highlighter, and I'm gonna use a smaller brush. This is a Crown C513, little tiny pointer brush. I'm just gonna go right underneath my lash line because I have like a little socket here, if you see. So I like to just put eyeshadow there. And sometimes I do put way too much, so I just take that Real Techniques brush and just blend it a little bit more. And it makes it look a little softer too. And then I'm gonna add some Topaz in the corner of my eyes just to open them up a little bit. And for today, I don't think I'm gonna put, no, you know what, I'll do it for the sake of the video. So let's do some bottom mascara. So I'm gonna use the primer again. There's no cute face you can make when you put on mascara. I don't know why. It just like stretches the lash line, you know? So you gotta make that <laughs> ugly fish face. All right, so while that's drying, let's move on to our lips, because that's the last thing we have to do. So there's literally only two lips that I use now. So it's either this Dose of Colors Nude. So this is called Knock on Wood. And then I have this Melt Cosmetics. This is called Voyeur. This is so pretty. They're both literally the same color, I feel like. Love it, it's just a nude. Um, I think I'm gonna do the lipstick today because I've been doing the liquid lip for a long time. I wanna switch it up. So it goes on really light, I'm just warning you now. And then I use um, lip liner, like a darker lip liner to ombre it out. Cause there's no way in hell you're gonna go out like this. It looks like you have ashy ass lips. Like that's not cute at all. Oh my God, no. Oh, and these lipsticks smell so good. Then I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop, it's looking crusty, sorry. My ColourPop lip liner. Um, and this is in the shade BFF3, I think. I think, it's like so worn out because I've had it for a while. See how that just looks so much better? I love it. I usually put a gloss on too, but I'm not feeling it today. So I just realized that I paused the audio. So the audio is gonna sound like crap for a little bit because um, I can't redo it. So yeah, <laughs> my bad. Um, so yeah, let's do the mascara now. So we're just gonna use the same mascara we used for the top. And I don't think I'm gonna add more because I want it to be a little more natural today. And you can do eyeliner too. I typically don't do eyeliner anymore. But you can do eyeliner on the top or in your waterline. I just don't because I don't know. It, it's just, this looks so natural to me. I love it. And that's it. That's literally my makeup routine for my everyday. Put my hair down. Once it dries, it'll look cute. But yeah, it looks like I have no makeup on. I love that I look nice and fresh, nice and glowy. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you take away some things that I showed you for like my little makeup tricks and hacks and tips and all that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be a part of my mermaid squad. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.